That right there is pure french fry grease. Fried some french fries right in front of my eyes. And today, we're gonna be making soap out of that french fry grease. Today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the process of soponification. It's a real technical term. Um, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking this french fry grease and we're gonna mix with it uh, caustic sodium hydroxide, also known as lye, and uh, in the proper measurements, we're going to be making soap. There's a whole process to it, and the reason there's a whole process to it is I didn't want to just make regular old soap. I just didn't want it in like chunky little bars. I wanted to, I wanted to get a little crafty with it, you know, you know? And so today, we're gonna be making soap into what is in the shape of little potatoes, little taters, little taters right there. So the point is, is we're gonna have to use this moldable like gel stuff, and we're gonna pour that in here with these little guys right here, kind of like big tacks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on the back side of one of these taters, right? Right like that. Then we're gonna pour this mixture in around it. It's gonna fill up. And then on the back side of that, we're gonna have an area where if you flip this container over, then there'll be like a little hole area where we can then pour our soap mixture. So step one, step one is in making the mold because we want to make our soap look like little potatoes. Oh no, we have to run. Run, to, run to the store. Oh no. We really wanted it to be like all the way to the top. But I don't think there's anything against us going and going to the store right now and just doing that. Yeah. 75 minute cure time. We got time. Let's, Let's go. do it. Let's go. <laughs> Hold this plant. <laughs> Hurry up. Thank you, Lapis. Oh, <gasps> my keys, my keys. Oh, ah, it's on fire. Ah, I forget it, everything. Ah. <laughs> okay, I remember, I remember. All right, let's go. Okay, we're back. We got it, guys. We got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just very quickly just open up that guy. Oh man, they really do need to be mixed together. <laughs> this one was definitely older. Oh, what? what? Oh no. Oh no. I think it's like. Dude, they ripped you off. Dude, no. We gotta go back. <laughs> no. <laughs> back in the box. Okay, so uh, the store didn't have uh, what we wanted, so we're just gonna see what happens with what we got. It's definitely not, I mean, it's like almost, it feels like it's like cured almost, but it, it's not cured. It's just a little bit dry. If I can get it, if I can even get it out. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Oh no, I shouldn't have done the eye open. Oh up. no, can of worms. That was the wrong, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and try to mix this up. I can already tell you this is gonna be a disaster, but here we go. Yep, disaster, 100%. I think that's as good as I got. I mean, it's gonna get, because I think at this point, it's just it's almost just gonna get worse. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this base layer on. <laughs> oh. Full discretion, it's not supposed to look like that. <laughs> I'm just playing at this point. I just feel like I just know it's a disaster and just kind of messing with it. That's all I got. We're definitely in the 75 minute mark, and if you take a look over here, our Ulu is, well, it's just not what it's supposed to look like. It's not supposed to do that. Just like uncured cookie dough. It's supposed to do this, right here. There's nothing. And the mold is born. It's a boy. <laughs> It's a there's still potatoes in that mold. Now we gotta dig out the taters. Okay, so there's alright, there's our our potato down in there. Now, all I gotta do is get the potato out. <laughs> no easy task. Nothing about today has been easy. <laughs> 
Good lord. So what do you do to get the soap out? The same thing. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you can just cut it at that point, right? Just yeah, I'll probably just, just cut this whole mug. Yeah, but you know what I should do it. now that I think about it? Like, if that's the way we're gonna pour it in there, maybe I ought to just like make these holes bigger in some of them. That way I can just scoop the whole potato out. God, we screwed this up. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> so many ways. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh yeah, this is not a DIY. This is like, <laughs> this is not. This, this is like how to basic. This is basically like how to not do it. It really is a total disaster. How easy is that? <laughs> okay, um, that has, this has not been easy. Not been easy. Sometimes experiments go great, super easy, boom, boom, bam. Other times, not so much. All right, so now we can finally move on. So this is the part where we're actually going to mix the soap and create the soap, the soap mixture, and then we're gonna pour it in our mold to make our, uh, so like our, our little potatoes, and then we're gonna carve those out because it's been such an epic disaster. And whatever we have left over, we're gonna put in this pan. And so the first thing you do is you mix the sodium hydroxide in the water. Now, when that happens, it's an exothermic reaction, gets really hot, and the fumes that come out are very toxic. It'll burn your eyes, it'll choke you out. Not good, not good at all. I also wear a flannel and gloves and goggles. I really take that seriously. I don't wanna get burned, because you don't want to get burned in life. Now, when you watch this process, you'll see you want to do this really slowly. And then just a little bit at a time. Uh, if you guys remember the movie Fight Club, remember that Fight Club? He takes the, uh, the caustic lye and he puts it on what's his face's hand and it, and it burns through it. That's what this chemical is, so it's no joke. Now, typically you're supposed to like boil this off, you're supposed to purify it, you don't want it to look this ugly, disgusting brown color. That's not what we're going for. We're going for like actual disgusting French fry odor. And so to me, that's all the good stuff. That's, that's what I'm looking for, I want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. It smells very potent, very greasy. I'm gonna go ahead and add it in here. Slowly add this in here. Oh boy. I'm like doing it really precautiously because I don't want it to splash back up in my face because that'd be disgusting. It's still too watery, I think. When we're out of oil. We have no more oil to add. Well, I guess we have on our hands disaster number two. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna keep stirring. See, uh, see how far we can get with it. Nick, what did you do? Yeah! <laughs> Today has been the ultimate disaster. The ultimate disaster. I spilt it out of the thing and onto my leg. Oh my good god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Well, we still have a little bit left. And that's what we get. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna pour it just in here. I give up. I give up. Disaster. This, this is, this, this whole day has just been a disaster. Dude, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> what, am I, what has my life come to? <laughs> I smell like french fries, dude. Oh, it's boiling out the sides, dude. What the, what is going on? Oh wait, it's the, oh my god, it's tinfoil. 
and it's the lie. Remember what happened last time we mixed those? Remember what it created? Hydrogen gas. <laughs> Okay, back in the mold. <laughs> okay, well it's as simple as that. So there you go. This was such a monumental mess. We decided that we're just gonna, we're, we gotta make this video. We gotta make it public. Everything went wrong from my sink to break. My sink broke this morning. Like what, why? Like why would the sink break? See there's a little bucket down there, it's full, I can't even use the sinks right here. Sinks, sink bricks, okay? Then we go to the mold stuff. Then the mold stuff doesn't work. It makes this like, obnoxious mold that the blue stuff never cures. It's all over the place, all of these gloves, it ruins these gloves. And then I finally mix the grease. It's not coming to trace, meaning it's not like mixing properly because we don't know what kind of grease it is. And then as I'm mixing the grease, uh, the whole bucket thing spills on me. And now I'm wearing the grease. French fry grease. I don't know where it came from. And I, get, and I got blue stuff on me. Mix it all in together. So um, I need to do some clean up, get back at it, and at least we'll get one video out of it. So everything went wrong. Like absolutely everything went wrong. So have you ever had a day where everything went wrong? Let me know in the comment section below. And next week, we're gonna be releasing a video where we get it right. So we're gonna show you how to actually make soap from grease that came from a restaurant. We've done it already, it's great. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you really soon.